The Golden Mole was inspired by a desire to write about the world's wonders. I wanted to offer a kind of salute to the startling astonishments with which we share the living world. Things like the fact that the golden mole is the only iridescent mammal. It shines, literally shines gold, but it's blind. It cannot see its own radiance. Or the fact that when lemurs want to bond, they huddle together in a ball about the size of a bicycle wheel known as a lemur ball, so they can feel each other's tiny beating hearts against each other's skin. I find these things so breathtaking, so incredible that I wanted to write them down and offer them to other people so that they too can be astonished. It's also in part born of a visit I made to see a pangolin in Zimbabwe, which is where I grew up. I'd never seen a pangolin. They're scaly anteaters, and they have the faces of an unusually polite academic. And I went to see one at a wildlife reserve outside Harare. And they are prehistoric. They predate us by hundreds of thousands of years. It feels like being in the presence of something ancient, almost prelapsarian. It feels like being in the presence of a miracle. And I wanted to try to capture that sense of the everyday miraculous. I think we have, as a culture, become unwilling to salute the ordinary in ourselves and each other, disgusted by our own averageness. But the world that we live alongside is so breathtaking that just to have the privilege to live alongside it is enough wonder for anyone. I find it a kind of solace to think about how staggering the living world is and the stark, breathtaking luck of living at a time where it is still plentiful but at a time where it is decreasing so rapidly that the other reason I wanted to write The Golden Mole was to say what we all know, but just to add one more voice to it. These astonishments are in peril and time is running out.